Good morning everyone, this is Buck. Back again, just checking up on my plans. Hell, I got a little bad news. Seems that uh, that one is gonna make it out throughout the winter. That was my big uh, tree there and my fruit tree. And right over here, I got my second one, but it seems to me that this one is pretty much well, it looks to me that it's going to start growing. Now, I don't know what this is. This seems to me that it's growing on the side, but I'm not really sure what that is also. So, pretty much, it's attached to this tree right here. Looks like this one is making it out throughout the winter. So, it's pretty soon it's going to start opening up. And this one right over here, it didn't make it at all. Remember this was the green tree, uh, the green leaves that was the size of my palm? Well, looks like this one died out. And this is not made uh, in the East Coast because um, anything hits below 30 degrees and it gets very cold and these things are going to die out so it has to be indoors. So these typical trees are good in California, I would say maybe uh, Arizona down south of South Carolina, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama not even maybe Alabama but North Carolina is okay but unfortunately this didn't make it through and I am not very happy well guys I got something new here I have fish and these are my little fish in the pond well a tiny little pound in a big house and that's Joe that's Sam and that's Luke Luke is the little one. Well, cute little things. A couple of orange ones and one brown. They get along pretty well. Every morning they uh, hug and kiss. And mornings they have breakfast. Well, unfortunately, they move from there to here, go to work, and then from here to there they go back home. So that's what they like to do. This is my laptop. This laptop's been through a lots of lots of harsh days. And you can't see in its own. We had to replace the windshield. The <laughs> windshield. We had to replace the monitor because that was broken. This is gone. As you can see. It's loose. So everything is holding on at the edge basically if we face any other crisis laptop may fall crisis shakes push down uh, we're we're looking at a shutdown here so we're not going to be able to use this laptop I'm gonna have to see if I uh, find someone who is able to repair this this particular laptop I mean it's a very nice laptop it's a processor it's an ITB i7 computer which is like top of the line at the time when these things came out I, 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 I purchased it and it's done a marvelous job. I can have like three windows open and download videos and upload videos at the same time and search. This laptop does it all. This is a cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clock is for those who work so hard and at the end of the day they start singing cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. So this is where they belong. They come in this clock and they stay overnight and wake up in the morning and they still gonna say cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah, are you staring at me? Well, don't try, all right? Stay away, don't look at me, all right? And I don't like that mustache and that big nose of yours. <laughs> well, guys, this is the story. The story about all this is about 18 years ago, I walked into the shop and, and I, uh, I saw this. This is a bottle, oh, it's all handmade. And I'm gonna turn it around and you can see all the beautiful shells and amethyst stones are sitting on this. Well, I don't see any amethyst. Well, here are some stones right here, and uh, so this is actually all handmade. Amazing, right? It's very, very pretty. So what I'm going to have to do is drop it down here, and I'm going to show you guys what does this do. This is pretty, like, very sensitive, and come on, hold. There we go. Here we go. So here are, like, mushrooms. That's what it looks like. Little mushrooms, plenty of shells. And all these little things here, I don't know what are those, 
but it is nice nicely done I tell you so basically this uh, about 18 16 18 years ago I don't remember I bought this and I loved it because it was all handmade and here's the cap and this is where you keep your whiskey or vodka or whatever you can call it and look at this it's all handmade now this was uh, the artist uh, the artist is from Brazil San Pablo Brazil and he's he's uh, he's talented very talented guy he does these things I have a few more of these things but not this type of things but different things uh, like uh, I would say tools and things like that pretty handy but these are all decorative items which uh, non usable so these are all had to be sit in a shelf and uh, just keep maintained dust free so we can uh, go ahead and keep it safely this is what it looks like the bottom as you can see everything is handmade we have to be careful I don't want to break anything very pretty very very pretty so yeah this is from Brazil São Paulo Brazil well what are, what are we gonna do if it's gonna rain out there so I'm gonna make myself a little bit comfortable be cozy home set back and relax a little bit and do uh, pretty much everything as much as I can but now I'm just gonna make me a nice French press coffee I use nothing but 100% Colombian coffee if you want to have some real good French roast and French press this is it <coughs> actually it's a hundred percent and it's Kirkland most of you all know Kirkland is one of the best coffees I ever had all the rest not good it's a dark roast really good fine grind supremo bean 100% Colombian coffee well this is all done I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here yep so that's my venison breakfast in the morning well my fresh Colombian coffee dark roast we're gonna put one scoop only one scoop I'm gonna use it's a little less than one scoop because uh, if I use full one scoop pretty much you can have two cups but I don't really want two cups okay my supreme bean dark roast coffee here we go we're gonna pour one a little less than a scoop and I'll be pouring the hot water and all good so I'm gonna keep that there close this up and let's have coffee Well, what do you think, guys? This is going to be real great. I wish you guys down here join me and have this beautiful breakfast. Well, this is all going to be me by myself, so no one else is here. Everyone left the building, and just Buck is sticking around here and doing some a little cooking. Well, this looks good. Really looks good. Hmm. Real dry. I like <laughs> I like a dry and crispy. looks good 
Well, sorry guys, I'm going to start eating. See what's later. Does anybody remember this uh, beautiful little scooter? When my little boy received this, I was not pretty happy, but we can't say no for gifts. Well, not about that. He's about four over years old. And this is going up for sale. I'm going to be get rid of I'm going to be probably selling it for approximately $15. It's got the good wheels in the front. And it's got three wheels. Rides good. But he's overgrown for this. So we're not going to say uh, stingy on price wise. But at least we're not going to give it away for free. Because Buck doesn't receive anything for free. Well, I can't say that, but but anyway, despite the fact it is what it is, this is what's going to happen. Is I'm going to get rid of this about 15 bucks, but I don't think I'm going to sell it online on the internet. Probably somewhere local. I'm just going to hang up a little sign up here that says for sale. So this is Razor, pretty good, works good. You pull the pin right here, and it releases the handle, comes up, and you're ready to ride. Well, it's going to be my last video. This is what it is. Remember these boots? Uh, I could not believe this. I got this approximately two years ago, just a little bit over two years ago. Well, these boots have been retired and they're ready to go out the door. And a lot of folks say to me that don't send it out, keep using it. I said, well, she's got to go because it has been used and served me well. And it had his residence in my foot. My foot had residence in the boots. So I, I, I cannot complain. Well, this is uh, this is what it is. Sometimes things go in life, and you use them, and they go bad. Well, most of you all know, these boots have been everywhere: Alabama, Tennessee, Texas, Laredo, Illinois, Iowa. It's got the star on the bottom. Now, you all, most of you guys, are going to ask me, why are you going to get rid of this? It's got a signature on the bottom still. Well, the reason why is this: see, the heels are shot. I got one here, the heels are shot, so I guess the new ones are coming, they're in the mail, so they had some weather issues down in Texas, so they're mailing it, and believe it or not, you know when I called the lady up, cavenders.com, and I told them I like to order me these boots, again the same thing, because I love them, they're really good and they really lasted me for a while and quite frankly still this leather is soft the lining inside hasn't been ripped for two years and it looks good actually but except I did really use this a lot and most of you all know I've hunt with these boots and um, over at the off the grid project and on that pr premises so um, yeah and then when I gave the lady my phone number she already pulled up the info right there she goes oh yeah you got it right here that's the size and that's the width and the length I said wow okay place the order that was fast so anyway <laughs> yeah so that was easy for me well we're gonna have to say goodbye to these boots and um, a new set of pair of boots are coming in and uh, we'll start fresh this year unfortunately um, it's time to go babies thank you very much for helping Thank you guys, don't forget to subscribe and let's all say goodbye to these boots and let's meet the new ones. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later, come back with some more sweet videos.